Hello there everybody, hope you guys are having a good day today. Today's plugin showcase is going to be on Cardinal, and this is actually a new plugin. Uh, it's only been out about a week uh, on Spigot since I'm recording this, so uh, pretty cool stuff. It is a premium plugin working on versions 1.8 all the way up to 1.16. This is kind of like a protection administrative, uh, server administrative type plugin. Uh, it has a lot of pretty cool features, and so I'm going to try my best to showcase uh, most of them. There might be a few that I may here and there just because there is quite a bit included with this but if you guys want to check out this plugin the link will be down in the description so getting started the main command for this is cardinal or a short for slash cd and then we can do help and that will show you your main help menu right here so as i mentioned there is uh, quite a bit of commands included with this you can actually ban kick report players uh, which is pretty cool but there's also a lot of uh, sort of system and back-end server things that this plugin does as well so uh, to look at that you can do cd menu and that will show you uh, some of the settings included so we got plugin settings if you just want to check for uh, notifications or updates uh, this also does sync in with your discord if you want to get like alerts or notifications for specific things happening in game which is a pretty cool feature and this also includes sort of like it's built in anti-cheat uh, just keep in mind this is not an anti-cheat plugin it just adds some a variety of checks that you can actually do with this so I will actually put a quick video on screen now of me just testing out the, uh, some of the features uh, for the kill aura checks so there is like kill aura, there is criticals, uh, no swing, fly, fast deep, fast bow, speed, and there's actually quite a bit more that you can also check with this plugin, which is pretty cool. So, so you get notifications of that specific player if they're doing something bad or something. So the pretty cool checks that uh, it is built in with this plugin. And then there's also some general settings right here. So you have optimization settings. So I really like this one because it checks uh, chunk limits, which is pretty cool. So if there's a specific amount of a chunk that is contain a whole bunch of entities it could clear it and it will just make your server run a lot better it also has tps protection so it will kind of uh, alert you for specific actions if the server's tps uh, go below a specific value so all this is completely customizable i will show you guys this a little bit later uh, in the config and then you also have some exploit settings so if you want it to log uh, when specific exploits are trying to happen so if they're trying to do some sort of a spoofing so this uh, also is is included with uh, bypassing uh, the bungee cord IP address so this is uh, all great to have enabled on your server just some back-end security settings and then uh, you can have disabled commands uh, you also check for the book exploit this is really really helpful uh, because I have seen some servers taken down because of hack clients use this book exploit and it basically just crashes the server so uh, that is really nice to have installed and up-to-date for your server so those are your general settings all right here where you can customize and then you can also change the values in the config so i want to show you guys some of these commands so i really like this title command uh, because you can execute it pretty simply if you want to do all players and then you can send a title you can be like hey guys and that will actually send the title to everyone online so this is a pretty nice shortcut that you can do with this and you also send an action bar and uh, we can do the action bar right here action bar and then we'll just uh, do all players again and then we can say subscribe and that will just say subscribe down here on the action bar so we can do uh, two uh, soul striker and there we go just like that so this also does include like some really cool chat features where it blocks uh, advertising and spamming and then also includes a clear chat so you can do a cd clear and that will clear the chat as well so a lot of cool features within this uh, we can go back to the help menu and then uh, let's go ahead and do the report so uh, this also includes a built-in report system which is really helpful because a lot of plugins don't actually include any type of report system in then so this is really cool that it has that so we can go ahead and report the player's name so this is me and then it gives you a nice little GOI uh, of telling what type of uh, report you're doing so we can do like advertising and then that will go ahead and uh, provide some our information and we'll just say uh, he We'll just say he is advertising his server okay and then now we can go ahead 
and then we just enter that. So now we can do the CD report. So this is uh, what administrators see, and then we can go ahead and uh, see the specific report information. So as you see, it just says he is advertising his server. So we can see the day and the reasoning, who the reporter is, and then we can go ahead and clear that information. And just like that, we have checked off all our reports on the server. And as I did mention, you can ban and mute players uh, within this Cardinal plugin as well, which is pretty cool. So that is a lot of the in-game like chat features. So you can also mute specific players. You can ban, unban. So that's really cool because it has it all built in. And one thing I do want to mention that it does also include a VPN uh, detection and bot system. So if you're getting attacked, it will actually alert you to uh, bot attacks and then players who are using a VPN. So it's all inclusive with this plugin, which is pretty cool. So go ahead and show you guys all the configurations. So now we are switching over to our Minecraft control panel for our Cardinal plugin. So if you guys need a Minecraft host, be sure you check out Revive Node. Their link will be down in the description, and you can use my code Striker to save 15% off your purchases for three months. So make sure you guys go check them out. So in here, uh, we have several different configurations, and I'm going to go into the main settings. So there's a lot of settings that you can change that aren't really seeable in game. So I just want to mention a lot of these really cool features. So for example, here's this optimization. So this is really helpful if you want to try to save lag on your server and this will check uh, specific intervals, how many entities and then it, and then you can say, you know, whatever type of entities you want ignored and then all the rest of the entities it will actually clear it. So that's basically a built-in clear lag right there. And then you have this TPS protection. So basically, if the server goes below 13, it will try to clean all the entities. It will call garbage collector. So it will go ahead and try to save up some memory uh, within the plugin as well. So pretty cool stuff right here. And then uh, once it gets up to about 18 TPS, it will stop those procedures and just uh, sort of check to make sure the server uh, is stable. So this is all sort of in the background uh, happening on the server. So really cool stuff that you can do with this plugin. And as I didn't mention, here's the chat, and then you can have uh, blacklisted words, you have command cooldowns, anti-advertise, have specific emojis, you can actually replace it with in here as well, which is pretty cool. So you have some fancy emojis that you can do right there. So I will leave the author's Discord down below as well as his uh, test IP that you guys can go and actually test this out for yourself and test out some of the built-in anti-cheat features within this plugin. So that's sort of all the stuff that you can do in the config and uh, I want to test out this uh, emojis here. So that's actually pretty funny. I like that. So anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video tutorial. As I did mention, there is a ton of uh, things that you can customize and change. And it's not all just uh, all commands, it is a lot within the configurations that you can customize. So make sure you guys go check it out, you can see the full list uh, on the plugin page. So I will see you guys in the next video, have a beautiful day, peace out.